for the first time, more Americans died from overdoses than car crashes and gun fatalities combined during this pandemic. Now, some states are hoping to give drug users a fighting chance through a controversial program known as harm reduction. That's right. It's an approach where users inject drugs under medical supervision. New York City just opened the nation's first such supervised site, and New England is following in the spring of 2022. ABC News' Phil Lipoff reports from Rhode Island with an inside look. So this is where you keep the supplies? Yes, absolutely. This is um, our supply. On Providence's south side, outreach worker Oz Lugo prepares for another busy day on the front lines of Rhode Island's opioid epidemic. But he's not providing the kind of help you might think. These are the needles you hand out. These are, these are used. It's controversial, but Oz says it's working. He and his team are actually helping people administer their illegal drugs, but with clean needles, supplies, and the overdose reversal drug Narcan. It's a practice known as harm reduction, and demand for it has exploded during the pandemic. You see, we're getting more people. And we're, we're collecting more. His group, ACO, serves about 240 people and in June distributed close to 34,000 clean needles. Oz and his colleague Vanessa invited us to make home deliveries with them. They give us a phone number so that way we can get in contact with them and let them know when we're there. Why is it so important that you guys exist? As far as like HIV and hepatitis C, those numbers have been dropping. At the first stop, we meet a 26 year old who wants us to call him Sam. He's been using heroin for eight years. Have you tried before to stop? I have, and, it's, and I've been to many sober houses, uh, many programs, courts, the whole nine yards. But at least? At least I have clean needles, so I don't potentially get uh, infectious disease. A hard reality for so many, like Zoe at our second stop. The 29-year-old mother of two says she wants to stop using, but right now, because of her drug use, she isn't able to be with her two young children. I grew up watching my parents like that, and I don't want them to ever see me like that. But this work gets a lot of pushback because, as Oz and Vanessa point out, harm reduction isn't primarily about getting people sober. It's about keeping them alive. People like Flaka, a hardcore drug user. How important is this place to you? Extremely important. Why? Because I know that I can get rigged for free. So you pass this stuff out to other people on the street? And me as well. And you as well? Mm -hmm. Keeping people safe? Trying. Research shows harm reduction methods are effective. Needle exchanges alone are associated with a 50% drop in new HIV and hepatitis C cases. But Rhode Island is going a step further. In July, Rhode Island passed House Bill 5245, which will establish a two-year pilot program starting March 2022. This will allow people who inject drugs to bring their substances into a facility with medical staff who monitor for signs of distress and can then intervene. The move comes as drug overdose deaths in America skyrocketed. Provisional data from the CDC showing more than 100,000 people died in a 12-month period through April of 2021. That's nearly 30% higher than the same period a year before. Decisions on where these injection sites will be are largely determined by where the need is. One spot under consideration near Providence's West End, home to a tent city. This man tells us harm reduction services, specifically access to Narcan, have made all the difference between life and death. It's very important because otherwise, like people will be running around grabbing things out of the trash, like, like just randomly picking leaves up. He says he's overdosed at least four times. His wife has had to revive him. I just I'm grateful, very, 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 very grateful. Yeah. She also struggles with addiction. I've been on myself now for over 20 years, but now I'm like um. I just, it's hard to stay sober living in the situation I am. Hi, it's Vanessa with the exchange. I'm outside. The hope for those committed to harm reduction is to keep users like Zoe, Flaka, Tiffany, and Sam alive, to give them the chance to one day achieve sobriety if they choose to pursue it. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, Providence, Rhode Island. And we want to thank Phil for bringing us that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.